Hi, good morning and welcome to today's Products in Focus. So today brings us the FOMC that's due at 7 p.m. UK time, uh, where the Fed may in fact decide to raise rates. 85% chance of that apparently being priced into the markets. If the Fed don't act, that's when you're going to get a whole bunch of extra volatility in the markets. Looking at the US 30, you can see that it's had a, a decent couple of days coming off the lows there on Monday, pushed up higher yesterday, crawling a little bit higher this morning, just above potential resistance at 17,561. Other technicals are relatively neutral. Looking at UK 100, similar kind of pattern, very volatile session on Monday where we uh, moved higher and lower to settle quite close to the opening price. We managed to uh, push a little bit higher yesterday as commodity markets uh, managed to recover some losses, uh, but we've kind of stopped dead in our tracks right now, close to potential resistance at 60, 70. Um, moving on to the Japan 225, uh, it's also had a couple of interesting days there where it's bounced off potential support at 18.648 three times. Um, very volatile session yesterday where it was much lower, pushed a little bit higher, but pretty much finished bang on where it opened. But we were already pushing uh, a little bit higher this morning, just getting above that 55 period SMA and touching potential resistance at 19.104. So then looking at dollar yen, um, dollar yen. Three bounces of potential support at 120 spot 55. Uh, we're trying to break through 121.87 right now. It's just ever so slightly off the daily high, uh, but above the 55 period SMA. And obviously, if the Fed does decide to uh, to raise rates today, FX is going to be a particularly uh, important asset class to look at with dollar yen, GBP USD. It's euro dollar, I guess, where you'd see a lot of action if the Fed didn't raise rates. Okay, so we'll come back to them in a second. Let's have a look at West Texas crude. Um, interesting candle where we were a lot higher late in the session, 37.50. We got pushed right back down again, but already the uh, the markets are, are not reversing as you might expect from this technical signal, but they're just grinding up that little bit higher. Uh, we are a fair bit away from 37 spot 50 to be fair, uh, but West Texas had had a decent bounce. It's almost a 10% move in just two days. Um, so we'll see what happens there. Obviously, if the Fed does, doesn't does cut rates, you might get uh, a decent bounce from West Texas crude. If they do cut rates, I think it's almost kind of pretty much priced in right now, but that, and that would probably have a bit of a short-term negative impact on West Texas. So looking at gold, gold obviously interest rate sensitive, almost trading towards the bottom of its range uh, over, over the last couple of years. Anyway, um, 1,072 being the potential resistance, uh, with 1,031 being the potential support. Shorter term potential support would be around about 1,046. If the Fed doesn't raise rates, expect gold to uh, get a, a net positive out of them. So looking at uh, Euro dollar, uh, Euro dollar, bit of an ugly technical setup right here. We're making higher highs, but we're closing either bang on the level of the day before or negative as we were yesterday. We are trading below that 55 period SMA. We're in the middle of two ranges, one spot 11 being potential resistance. So that will be something you'll be looking at if the Fed doesn't cut rates, uh, doesn't uh, doesn't add to rates, sorry. And uh, one spot 0819 would be the next potential support. But remember, rates are about 85% priced in already. Then having a look at GBP USD, uh, negative couple of days. We had bad day on Monday. We had a worse day yesterday, and it's kind of stopped at one spot 5027. Uh, we're below both moving averages. The other technicals are quite neutral, meaning there can still be further room for maneuver. So economic data wise, we do of course have a whole bunch of PMI data before the FOMC tonight. We've got employment data from the UK, CPI from the Eurozone industrial production in the US, lots of macro data to be aware of, uh, crude oil inventories, which will be important if you're trading with Texas crude, uh, which I'm sure a lot of people are right now. And then you've got the FOMC at 7 p.m. UK time, which is followed up by a statement by the Fed. Keep your eye on the chart forum, make insights part of your layout going forward, and join me again tomorrow to find out uh, the result of that, of that Fed decision and the impact on the markets. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.